Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dead Cells. Uh, we're heading into the Stilt Village, so let's get right into it and see what's going on. We're going to swing our fans at people. We're going to make sure that they're comfortably cool, but not overly cold with them. Like so. We have our Blood Sword, and we have our Dual Crossbow and Cleavor Combo, which is doing good work. I'm very much liking it. Right, Cannibal Arm Man, I do recall you. You will be deceased, and I have deceasified him successfully. It makes me happy. Um, we could actually use some purple, but I do like recovering more, but let's get the, uh, I don't know, man, like, do I get the damage up for a dual crossbow that we might not even be keeping, or do I get the damage up for the, the necromancy? I think we get the necromancy at this point. It's too good to be able to just recover health upon kills. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, see, we need the recovery upon kills there. It's helping us a lot. All right, there's our shadow over Innsmouth monsters. Always fun throwing out those thangies at me. All right, I already got into the chest. We have the throwing knife V. It's my favorite letter of the alphabet for throwing knives. Uh, causes bleeding. Do we want this instead of something? It'd be instead of our fans. No, we do not. I'm holding on to the fans for now because they are colorless, so they'll keep they'll keep leveling with us. I don't think I want to ditch those at this point. Wow, yeah, see that? They're, they're doing work. What is that huge heart? You saw that huge heart there for a second? What was that? What, what was that? There's still so many things in this game I just do not understand, man. Like, what was up with that heart? It was awesome, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that heart was. I am not someone, as I have mentioned before, opposed to back seating. Uh, that counts for both my videos and my streams. By the way, if you haven't checked out a stream yet, I highly recommend you go watch them because they're super awesome and great. And I'm not just biased about my opinion of it because I'm the one who runs it. But uh, yeah, I'm always open to back seating from the standpoint of like abilities and skills. Like you should try this or do this or that. I'm more against back seating that spoils lore or story for me. So when I'm playing through a game, I do like to be able to figure out the story on my own. I enjoy trying to work through that. Although it can be fun to discuss it with chat as well. So yeah, if you if you know what's up with that heart, please do tell me. <laughs> it's as cool as it was, I have no idea what it did. I will grab this village key. Thank you very much, sir. Whoop. What I really want to know too is, uh, and I think we'll find this out on our own, but how to get the ability that will allow me to wall jump or whatever it is that I need to do in order to access new areas. So I'm very much ready to see uh, what the slumbering whatever it was was. Slumbering village? I want to see what's up with that, but that requires the whatever wall jump thingy. Can't eat that command. Given time, I know we will find it. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just antsy. Like I'm ready, I'm ready for it. I'm so ready. Maybe the game's telling me that, no, Ranger, you are not ready. You may think you are, but oh, how wrong you are. Or something to that effect, I don't know. I will say that the Blood Sword is starting to get a little bit antiquated in terms of damage output compared to our other stuff, so we may want to look for a new primary weapon. It is indeed possible. Yeah, we'll get more reds. Keep buffing up our colorless things, because that's another nice thing about the, um... Stop that. Stop that. That's another nice thing about the... There we go. About the, uh... What was I saying? That's another nice thing about the cleaver that we have going on, is that it is colorless, so... As we level up, it's gonna be getting stronger. So that should last us for the whole game if we want, and to be honest, I kinda do. Because I'm thinking about the Hand of the King. I know that's getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I am thinking about that boss already. And from what I can recall, the platform that you fight on is probably not a lot larger than the actual cleaver itself. Which will mean that anytime he is on the stage, he will be taking damage, and I really like that prospect, so I think... It would behoove us to hold on to our cleavor item uh, through the entire game. Not just because it's a good item, but yeah, the, the colorless ability on it is super awesome. Very nice. Murder this man real quick with a couple of cooling fans. There we are. Not like a computer cooling fan, just a regular fan of cooling ability. Stop it. Let myself get a little bit overwhelmed by that one. But not too bad. Take that Monet. We've got a lot of money. The question is, do we want to save it to upgrade our weapons at all? Balance Blade 6, but it's got a 1% of HP recovered per attack. Excuse me? Oh, but I take twice as much damage. Uh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. 
or another double crossbow matic Shots pierce the first target. I do like the idea of shots piercing a target. Right now, they explode into toxic cloud when they die. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be taking the balance blade four that causes me to take double damage. That seems like a terrible idea, even if I get to heal a little bit. Yeah. Let us take the double crossbow matic. I guess we'll replace this one. I think piercing. Well, yeah, I think piercing is more more useful. We'll recycle the old one. Darn, I was really hoping we'd get a new primary weapon in that area, but not this time. Nonetheless, the hunt will continue for a new primary. It's possible we can get a primary that's a ranged type of one, like maybe the, um, what's it called? The, the throwing knives or something of that nature where I can, uh, use the fans as the main primary, which would allow me to be able to, uh, have a little bit of range too, because at the moment, one of our big weaknesses is that we don't have a lot of range and ability to kill enemies. We have to be pretty much in their grill to kill them unless we can chuck down our special abilities down there. No main weapons here. Uh, I think I'll keep what I got. I don't think any of those items particularly excite us. You know, I mean, we could get like a fancy grenade that's a little bit better than what we currently have, but it's really not that much in terms of... What's it going to bring to the fight? It might be better just to, when we get to the, ow, oh, when we get to the, um, to the end of the area where the forge dude will reforge stuff for us, maybe we want to just use that and have him, oh, I missed a scroll, oh. and have him, uh, reforge our blood sword into something more powerful. I don't know. We'll have to see. More red, please. There we go. Let's kill all these enemies. And then we'll hit the door. <laughs> Excellent. I have the power. All right. I'm assuming this will give us a village key. We shall see. Zippity zoop down. Oh. Oh no. I have forced myself into the Forgotten Sepulcher. Well, I guess we're going into the Forgotten Sepulcher. I don't have another village key, and unless I can get one from the previous area. Alright, Forgotten Sepulchre it is. It's not that it's too difficult or impossible, it's just... Oh, we almost made the time door. It's just not exactly what I was planning for. I'll put it that way. Um, this will give us our random starter bow, and now we can start actually unlocking some new things to check out. I'm thinking... Crusher sounds super awesome. In fact, yeah, let's, let's work on the Crusher. The Crusher sounds amazing. Crush enemies in between two thingy bobs. Like, how awesome is that? If we upgrade this to S. Wait a minute. The blood sword is... When did it become colorless? Has it always been colorless? Let's let's upgrade it to S, S rank. Oh my gosh. Bonus damage against frozen and burning targets. We really want to get frozen targets and burning targets then. Which we don't really have the ability to yet. All right, well, now we've got... Hold on, how many items of ours are colorless? Wow, three out of our four items there are colorless. That is amazing. This is feeling like a really strong run. I cannot lie to you. The damage output with our blood sword should now be pretty impressive, too. And it's going to be applying bleed to enemies. Goodness gracious. If we could get something that would apply burn, I think that could really put us over the top. Because if we're doing bonus 30% damage on top of the really high damage we already have... We're going to be basically unstoppable. So much for the quest to find a new uh, primary. I feel like we've got the primary that... Not the primary we deserved, but the primary that we needed. And it's going to carry us to victory. That being said, I do need some light. We have found some light. Which makes me happy because I was getting a little scared there. Taking a little bit of damage, but nothing too scary. Nothing too intense. Oh my goodness. This is actually kind of disturbing to watch. Like... It was really cool when we went through here with our army of Jodies, I will not lie to you. But being able to go through and me being the one doing the damage and just crushing these fools, it feels pretty great. Like, what are you even going to do, my friend? My little friend, though? You can do nothing. More green. You can do nothing. It feels good. It feels powerful. Like, this area, I remember the first time we came here, we didn't do terrible, but we still got our... our our body rocked pretty hard. Now I feel like we are the ones doing the rocking of the body. 
frankly, isn't that all anyone can really ask for? Oh boy. I need light. I need light. I need light. I thought I could get over to that. Ouch, it's fine. It's just a mace ball to my face. Okay, we're taking damage now. Where's the light? I need the light. Thank you. And a scroll of power. Extremely worth it. More red. Well, that's right. And we have the thing where if we get a kill, we get bonus damage. We have so many advantages to our name. Yeah, you, you just enjoy those. Those are yours to deal with now. No, come back in here. I need you to get hit by these. Is he turning invisible? What, 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 what are you doing? I mean, if you want to just keep warping away whenever you get hurt, I'll just stand here and let you die. Okay. This is exciting. <laughs> I mean, it works. Two extra jumps midair. Downward smash attacks burn the ground. <sighs> that would give us a chance to burn the ground. Uh, yes, let's do it. And it also gives us an extra red, which is really good. Recycle that. That was a really good elite fight for us. I like the bonuses from that. Ouch, ouch. Okay, we're leaving that area. That was some damage. We gotta be a little careful. Can't get overconfident. Like, I get, I still technically can die. So I do need to remember this. And be a little bit careful, because we're starting to take a, a little more damage than I'd like. Minus 10% damage received. Excuse me? As opposed to... Oh, but this does cause burning. Uh, I like... Oh, this one does minus 10% too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, recycle this. Guys, we're getting our money back too. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. There's a crypt key for us. Boop, boop, boop. Let's slap our mummy again. I've gotten real good at slapping the mummies, though. I at least got to admit that about myself. Like, if, if you're looking for something positive to say, you can at least say, Ranger, you, you know how to slap a mummy, sir. I'd be like, yes. I do. Have I done this one? Let me make sure I've also slapped this mummy. Or is it rub? I think you rub your mummy. Yeah, it's a, it's a mummy rub. And no, we have not been this way yet. All right. Well, we just got a crypt key, so let's see what's through here. This is perfect. It's a scroll of power. More red, please. Our HP isn't getting very much higher at this point, but the uh, increased damage to our weapons and abilities is definitely nice. Here's our grimoire. The bodies have woken up again, and this darkness. I can no longer continue my experiments on the malaise here. All right, so I guess we're learning a little more about this story. Whatever scientist was working on, this could be the mushroomologist, maybe. Uh, he was unable to complete his work or continue it because of the conditions uh, growing worse. A little bit of lore building. We're learning more about this world that we're in. I don't know what he was charging up to do, but I did not like it, so we executed him promptly. <laughs> we are too powerful. We cannot be stopped. Ow, ow, get away, get away, get away. Stop it. You can't stop me. I don't at least I don't want you to. You probably can, but I don't want you to stop me. I have too much to live for. A rare blueprint. A rare blueprint. I can speak English. Repeater crossbow. Exciting. That's the exact crossbow I wanted. Also, it's getting dark very quickly. I need light. I need light. I need, right, but like, I need light though. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy. He did not enjoy. No. Instead, he died. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. You love to see it. There you go. Get over here. Stop that with the nonsense. You know what? You get that. Oh, he just he just spun his way to uh to death over my my little cleaver buddy. Ah, my little cleaver buddies. There we go. That should cause him extreme difficulty and trouble. Potentially bodily trauma, which will lead to his uh death. Okay, there's something I missed. Hold on, I gotta get a little better light. Okay, there we go. We lit up now. There was something over here that it looks like I should be able to get to. Maybe from this direction? Like this. How do I get up in there? I'm not sure. It looks like there's a warp point. I must have to get a mummy or find an item or something. Where's light? I need light. Give me light. Please light. I need light. Thank you. Not completely sure yet. Oh, you tempt me so with the Vorpan level 7, but... I will have to pass for now. I feel like we've got some pretty good jingle jangles on our own. The blood sword is doing work for us. I cannot forsake it now. Not when it has been oh so kind and generous with its output of damage. Let's go see what's over here. 
I have to admit, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the Forgotten Sepulchre. How many do we need for this? Four. Get a little more comfortable with how damage works. The Cudgel. I can't give up my stuff right now. It's too good. Infantry Grenade. Plus 100% damage taken. You know, at this point, if it's going to double the damage taken that I'm getting, I'm really not into that as an item. And that's the second one in a row now that we found where it's like, hey, here's a decent item. But guess what? Also, you get to take twice as much damage. Like, why would I want that? It has to be a pretty impressive effect, I think, before anybody would be like, yeah, I think I'll just take the extra damage. Like, what effect would it have to be for me to actually be willing to do that? Even do double damage, I turn my nose up at. I'm not sure what it would take. It would have to be pretty great, though. I know that much. Ooh, kebab. I don't know if I've successfully reflected a shot from those guys once with the fans. Like, I'm pretty sure you can do it with the fans. I just don't think I've actually done it. But that's okay. We don't need to because we can just... They, they died so fast, you don't really need to anyway, right? Who needs it? Not me, I say. Ow. Okay, we need to go back for light. There we are. Thank you. Yeah, I've gotten more comfortable with the Forgotten Sepulchre and its whole lighting situation. Definitely adds a little bit of extra stress to the level, but, you know, it's not too terrible. Let's go kill these guys real quick. Get our light back. Thank you. And now go eliminate these jabronsters with harsh and extreme prejudice. Well, they got a little bit of damage on me, but not enough to make me worry. I mean, we've got 13,000 HP. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what's up here. Oh, nice. Scroll of power. Don't mind if I already did. More red, please. That is looking good. That is tasty. I need to get up here. That is tasty. Resist. What did he resist? I do not know. I can't get that one. Are we to the next area? We've got some mummy rubbing to do. Ah, another crypt key. Also great. Just what I wanted. Super awesome. Um, This way we go. Wait, where do I go next? Ah, down here. Or down here. This needs a crypt key. Let's go the non-crypt key needing way first. Explore over this way. See what's over here. Never mind, because I need the ability to do the jumpy jumps. I need to get the wall jumps or whatever it is, so. This way it is. I think we're about done here with the Forgotten Sepulchre. Good stuff. Make sure we didn't miss anything too important looking. Eh, it doesn't look like it. The lantern at the very beginning. There is an area down here I didn't figure out how to get to. Um, let's take a quick peek at it, just see if I can. Maybe there's a floor I can break through over here. Looks like it's just down here. Oh, there is. Let's see what's down here. Oh, there's another floor break, too. What is this? Ah, it's a Malachite. What do we have down here? Oh, that was a little scary. The electric whip. If it was colorless, I might consider it, but right now I'm feeling pretty invested in, in my current loadout. So, yeah, let's head on to the next area. I think we should be to the next area. Next is the uh, clock room, is it called? I believe it's called the clock room. Thank you. Pardon me. A little bit of platforming. Never hurt anybody. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, there's an item down there or shop or something that we couldn't get to. But, you know, until it lets me double jump or wall, not double jump, wall jump, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. How many cells do you need for this one? Three boss cells. wonder how what the highest is. The highest we've seen so far is four. I wonder what its max that it'll go up to is. There we go, to the clock room. I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out. That would be awesome. Boop. Um, we've got 39 cells. What will we work towards now? There's nothing that looks like that we can immediately get. Oh, we can. Right, the crusher. We've got the crusher. The crusher. What um death orb? Let's let's work on the death orb. We can be like Frieza. Damage bonus to a bleeding target. Let's try the Crusher instead of our Double Crossbow Omatic 4. Because we can do bleed damage with the Cleaver. And then as they're bleeding from the Cleaver, they'll be getting crushed by the Crusher. I think. I don't know. We'll have to see how it works once we get into an actual area. Anything I can do here? I do have 16,000 money. You know, reforging the modifiers on this. No, 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 because then we could lose Colorless. I don't want to do that. 
Don't do a dumb, me. Do not do the dumb. For that would be unfortunate. And dumb. But mostly dumb. Boss time. Here's where we fight the... I don't remember what his name is, guy. Eek. Eek. That was door creaking sound effects. You're welcome. The timekeeper. Get crushed. I'm gonna try and beat him without getting hurt. It probably will not work, but we'll see what we can do. I'm over here. No! Well, we're getting hurt. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're getting hurt. We, we are definitely getting hurt. In fact, we're getting extremely hurt, as the case may be. The fan! Do you see the damage the fan does on a single hit? Dude, it's already finished. I'm sorry, but it's already finished. Okay. The fan, when it hits, is wrecking his steez. Oh, I accidentally dodged his uh, one attack there that I never dodged. His grab. He died. He died on the, the crusher cleaver combo. Every time he says it doesn't end well, I always wonder what that means. Like, maybe am I the bad guy in this game? You gotta kind of wonder. Nah, I'm good with what I have, but thank you. We got a new blueprint here. Ice shards. That actually sounds awesome. I kind of want to unlock those next. Yeah, am I the bad guy in this game? Is it possible? I feel like it's possible. Can't say for sure, though. Alright, High Peak Tower. Right, boss guy. There you go, more cells for you. 20% of items will be plus quality. That's a very nice upgrade. Ice Shard. Slows down enemies during 3 seconds and inflicts critical hits on targets standing in water or covered in oil. Maybe a finally a use for the inflammable oil, which is still very strange to me. Alright, Hypey Castle it is. Let's do it. This is going well. I'm really excited here. High Peak Castle has fallen from its former glory, the last banquet held. I never get to finish reading, man. I tell you. One of these days, we will actually be able to finish reading what is happening. But for now, let's just try not to die like an idiot. There we go. Took a little damage. We're fine. We're fine. The damage output from Blood Sword right now is pretty absurd. It's doing 2230. Not as crazy as we were getting from our fans or from our twin blades like uh, last time. But pretty good. This guy, though, I've got to not let hit me like that. That's real bad. We can two shot him with our uh, fans. Crits cause one shots. Wow. Very, very powerful. All right, what do we got here? Oh my god, the prices. Look at that, throwing knife, eight plus, wow. The sandals, eight, cudgel. I mean, I don't want any of them, but to see level eight stuff for sale, that's pretty cool. Get destroyed. Uh, is there something in here? No. Okay. Not sure what the point of rooms like those are, but what ifs? It's all good in the hood. We have a green door. I guess we should go ahead and do green door here. We gotta get those keys. The palace keys, castle keys? I think they're called castle keys. I'm trying to remember exactly. Hey, I actually successfully re ow, reflected. Which means I get to do crits for a little while. Although everything's dying before I even have a chance to do a crit on them. My god. What have we become? What I become? Erase my enemy. You, that is not gonna work very well for you, sir. I just want to let you know. Yeah, you you got this, man. Just turn your back to me passive aggressively. That'll that'll upset me and get me to lose. One day, friendo. One day. Ow. Ow. Oh God. Stop. Ow. Okay, I don't like that guy. Ow. I don't like the. Ow. Okay, we're going through a little bit of a hard time here. I cannot deny. My body is taking a little... A little bit of damage. A little worse for wear. Climb up here. Yeah. Make sure I didn't miss anything down below. Whoop! Too daisy. 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 Okay. That's enough of that. Probably getting annoying. We're now on the other side of the castle. Forgot that it would do that. Not just put me back out where I came in. 
Which makes sense when you consider that uh, I didn't go out the door that I came in, so why would it have put me back out there? Damage is starting to get slightly concerning. Lack of ability to do any sort of range damage, I think, is starting to... Ow? Affect my uh, play a little bit. Being able to attack things from range was definitely comforting. Giving me some safety from all of the doom and gloom that surrounds me. What was that? I don't know what that was. Did it go? It fell down. It was just a greed shield. I need to make this place safe before I worry about what it was, though. There we go. What is this? Special greed shield. It is colorless. I don't think I need it, though. I think what I have is already really good. Yeah, like, th those, those things make a really good combo. I think I'll stick with them. On account of they're, like, killing everything that they come into contact with. Speaking of which, hello. I've now come into contact with you. Come over here. I need you to stand on this for me, sir. Darn it, I've been infected by the malaise. I don't know fully what it means, but it's going up. I think the malaise is that orange bar. And we want to really not keep getting infected by it. Kill him. Okay, we're now at max level. Holy crap! My health just went way away. Go back up. Okay, so malaise builds up, and when it hits the maximum of the meter, it looks like it just straight up does tons of damage to you. Cool. Great. Thanks for that. Just die. Just die. Please. We had better not let our hubris get the better of us and get myself killed here. Because it's certainly looking like that is a possibility. Holy crap, the malaise is scary. It seems like only elites, maybe, can actually get the malaise on you, though. So as long as I'm careful about where I'm engaging and who I'm engaging in it with, giggity, then I should be okay. Hopefully. More scrolls of power would definitely be on my list of desired objects. Get my uh, weapons up to be stronger. Hey, look at that. Scroll of power. Just what I was looking for. More green. Keep that necromancy skill going up. The more I can heal from enemies that I'm fighting, the better. We have our next key available. Let's see what this one's going to be. Is this the one where it's just platforming? Absolutely not. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, the, the blood sword's damage is starting to get a little bit lackluster for the amount of HP these enemies have. On the bright side, the fans still seem to be doing great. It's just the wind-up on them, you know? They're a little bit slow. Oh, crap. More elites. These bands aren't as scary, though. I cannot afford to let malaise get on me, though. I could die. Let's just let them die from my... Yeah, there you go. Let them die from my abilities. Alright, we've got three keys now. I think three keys is all that I need to get everything. Though I can't remember exactly. There we go. There we go. Okay. The spear guys aren't too bad. The ones I'm having real trouble with now are the dudes who ground pound and make the rocks explode up. Oh, or this guy. This guy could also be a problem. There's a f okay, Grant. There's a few problems. You know, there there are there are a number of problems which are afflicting me. I have been forced to recognize this now. God, the doors get me so turned around. It's probably smarter to go back in the door that you came out, unless you're trying to rush. Twin daggers, but they're not colorless. The DPS, though. I can't turn my back on the blood sword that's carried us this far, though. I will not. And Vorpan, you know I love you. I don't even have to talk to you about it. You know. Hello, secret. No, I need the moonflower key. So many garden-related keys that I need, man. So much vegetal key. How would I know? How am I supposed to know that? I should probably go and heal just for safety. Just to make sure I'm okay. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I did that now. Die. Die! Yes, scroll of power. Dude, that's a great drop from an enemy. More red. Keep powering up our blood sword. I need the DPS, man. You know, as great as the uh, DPS from the blood is, like the bleed, extra damage, just raw damage from the sword would be super useful right now. I'm trying to focus so hard. Whoop. Okay. Yes. Whoop. Ow. I didn't expect him to actually turn around and do that attack. That was very clever of him. Clever girl. I've been to that blue. We need to go over here and down to the left. All we need to do now is find the exit, basically. And we can go fight the final boss, which I very much want to do. You will die from that. Get him, get him. There you go. 
Okay. I can't get up there. I can climb up this chain, though. Is there a way to get down to the left, though? Is there, like, a crushable area? No? I'm not sure how to get down there yet. Maybe we will find our way later. Stop it. No bows for you, sir. Yeah, that one... Wait, will this do it for me? No, this will not do it for me. That was dumb. Going in circles. You know I'm doing well when I'm going in circles. Jump up here. Crush this man with my fan doom. All right. I'm very excited to get back to the... Uh, to the hand of the king again. I feel like I have a vendetta with that guy. Because even though we did beat him last time, it cost me a lot. I didn't beat him very smoothly. Like, it wasn't a clean victory, I'll put it that way. It involved much damage and basically relying on my uh, army of Jodies and twin daggers to kill him for me. Right now, I feel like we're in a place where we actually will need to exercise some degree of ability and skill in order to actually beat the guy. I c I'm sorry, I cannot turn my back on Bloodsword right now. So that feels good. It feels good that we need to at least rely, like, lean a little bit on our own ability if we're going to win. Where the heck is the... Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Uh, just trying to find where I have not been yet. Because I've been to a lot of this place, but apparently not enough to get the Explorer... Well, the whatever it is, the um, Explorer's experience. An assassin scroll for more red. 18 in red now. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. I mean, it's good. It's just ridiculous amounts. Another message from a guard. Some parts of the writing are covered with dried blood. Or vomit. Anyway, with some kind of strange substance. <laughs> Our character is like some sort of sociopath, man. It is just so bad. Belly aches. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. There's vomit on my letter already. I scratched, but then I bleed. Headaches. Blurred vision. Feel down. It's so itchy. My wife is being... Anyway. Um... Maybe the guard who wrote this letter... Wait. Maybe the guard who wrote this letter and didn't survive. It's sad, but his collar is no longer of any use to him. That sentence was a little confusing to me, but okay. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It takes slightly more damage, but projectiles basically become useless against me. I'm going to do it. I have a feeling it's good. Basically, my thinking is the um, Hand of the King does that one attack where he will make the ground explode towards you. If... I, I think I'm keeping what I got. If that counts as a projectile, this will almost single-handedly like win the run for us. It will be that powerful. New level of Crusher. Is this Crusher better than my current Crusher? It is almost the exact same. It's basically the same. We're just going to recycle it. There's the boomerang down there. I st I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I cannot get that. What does this do? I did not mean to fall in there. That was dumb. However, with a triple or quadruple jump, I could probably actually get that. All right, we're moving on to the throne room. It's, uh, it's time to face our greatest foe, I believe. Let's hope for a win. Hello, Salman. Salman. We'll get the death orb. No idea what it is, but it sounds super awesome. Um, Mushroom Boy? Let's get Mushroom Boy. We've had that for a long time, and I still don't know what a power is. Inflicts 266 damage, 665 DPS, 12 seconds, 100% damage. Plus 30% to burning, 100% to poison, victims in a toxic cloud. I mean, let's grab it and try using it. Let's see what it does. Oh. I see. Is that better than our Crusher, though? That is the question. Hmm. It is interesting. The Crusher, though, also really good. I think... We're going to stick with the Crusher, just because it gives bonuses to the... Uh, Crusher gives bonus damage against bleeding targets, and that's something that we will be running into. Um... What modifiers? I can upgrade the Crusher is probably a good idea. Let's do it, since I have the money. 
I could actually reforge its modifiers. These ones are not that good. Let's re let's reforge the modifiers. One more time. There we go. Bonus damage to a bleeding target. Frozen targets and victims freeze nearby enemies when they die. I mean, that doesn't seem great, but it could be useful, I suppose. And then the only other thing I could do is I could actually reset my mutations here because necromancy is not going to be that good anymore. What would be good then? This. This would probably be really good. Let's try it. Let's go ahead and reforge modifiers or reset mutations. Yes. Let's get this one. Let's get blunt. No, let's get which one was it? Dead inside. We don't need food anymore because we're about to fight the final boss. That's a ton of bonus HP. That's amazing. And let's get the combo. Oh, we don't really kill that many enemies either. Huh. Cooldown from a parry. No, 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 no. None of these other ones are that useful. I guess we could get some bonus damage out, actually. Just when he does his... When he throws out the other enemies. So we'll try that one. We'll see how that works. I don't know what increases your infection meter means, but hopefully it's not bad for us. All right, let's do it. We're fighting a boss. The boss. The eye tree. This is exciting. <sighs> take a little stretch. Take a little sip of my coffee. And then we're going to give it a shot here. Ah, very good. Let's do it. Hello, Hand of the King. What's up? So look at me! I have... Wait, the king was dead! The king wasn't there, was he? Is that because I killed him last time? I feel like it might be. That's some... Dude, the fan... What is the DPS on the fan? Where are they? Flashing fans. 3589. God, that's some damage. Yeah, he's already to the first... Done with the first phase here. That's pretty good. Get... Destroyed. Now we've got the DPS bonus damage. Just get in there and swing. We might be able to brute force him. This is kind of ridiculous. And our HP is out of this world. Like, we have too much HP. Yeah, this guy has got no chance against us. Like, I don't know what he's going to try and do here, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a rough day for him. Oh no. Rough day at the office for the uh, Hand of the King here. We are melting him. He is being melted. We just murdered him with a fan. Kaboom. Wow, that was even easier than last time. I'm kind of sad. A new outfit. The Hand of the King outfit. And the King is not here, right? Yeah, the throne is destroyed. What's through here now, then? Shelves. I've seen these types of shelves before in the king's castle. Can I open this door? Five boss cells required. Wow. Back room. This room seems to have been added after the construction of the castle. Anything down in the water? Nope. Is that it? I gotta remember I can do that. I keep forgetting. I don't know what it does, but I gotta remember I can do that. Is that it? Is there anything back if I go all the way to the left? Or is, is that another victory? I guess that's just another victory. All right, then. Well, good stuff. Let's go ahead and warm our way through the pipe again. I guess I have to do that like this. Yeah, to leave, I have to do that. Okay. So you're leaving behind your old body. Run duration, 46 minutes, 53 seconds. Like 10 minutes faster than our previous one. Wow. GG. Very powerful run. Yeah, there's the ending credits again. The lucky prisoners had a window in their cells. They ended up choking on the ashes from the ossuary. Lovely. We're back. Good stuff. What a what a what a game. This is such a good game. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, consider pressing the like button. I appreciate it a great deal. Subscribe if you've not done so already, and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Um, probably another base run, but we're going to try and go to a more difficult route, like the toxic sewers, and see where that takes us. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.